Good morning, class. This is your ICT 4041 course. ICT stands for Information and Computer Technology. So, in this course here, And what are the utility softwares and what are different ICT terms? Okay, you will be learning about basic ICT terms like uh, uh, what is virus, what is hacker, okay, what is copyright. So, all of these terms we will be learning. is something physical which you can touch and feel and that is there uh, that is there as a machine on which you are doing your work another term is software software is something which you cannot touch okay you cannot feel it you cannot see it so what is software software is basically it is a collection of computer programs and various data that is used to interact with computer to perform specific tasks so in easy words you can say software is a kind of a set of rules and regulations that is uh, telling the machine how to work for example all of you have used calculators so calculator when you do 2 plus 2 calculator gives you answer 4 but calculator has no life, it has no brain. How can calculator tell you that 2 plus 2 is 4? Or you multiply 10, multiply 10, it gives you answer 100. So how come a machine, a calculator or a laptop, how they are able to tell you the answer, the mathematical answer? We human beings, we have brain, we can, we can do the maths in our mind, we know that. But how come machine? So software is the thing which is telling the machine how to do the computation how to do the mathematical questions because software is a program and it has a lot of uh, set rules and regulations or you can say rules of the games given to the machine based on that machine is working and giving you the answer okay so that's how the software work with the hardware and telling the hardware how to perform any job, how to perform any task. So that is what software is. Okay. What is application software? Application software is a term which is used for software creation for a specific purpose. So application software is something a software created for a special purpose okay for example microsoft word excel powerpoint these are three examples of application softwares i hope you have used microsoft word in in your previous academic career have you used microsoft word before yes so microsoft word is a application software application means it is being used for some kind of work some kind of job so word is used for word processing documents 
to make or create such documents on which you have to write something in English language or Arabic language. So it is used for documents, making or creating documents, reports, letter writing, report writing. Okay. Excel. Excel is another Microsoft software. Excel is used to make spreadsheets. Spreadsheets means mathematical sheets on which you do the maths. computer software computer application software which software uh, which software will you pick up powerpoint excel or word yes word you will pick up microsoft word and if i asked you make a presentation on uh, wildlife i give you a topic i ask you make a presentation and deliver me the lecture give me a lecture on wildlife in uh, uae to edit or improve any photo image photo related things it can be used to edit photo correct its brightness color scheme and uh, cropping making uh, resizing the photo so it is software which is used for photo editing and we can also use it for like birthday cards creating birthday cards then is the microsoft word we have already uh, discussed about Microsoft Word. It is used for uh, newspaper article, uh, letter writing, report writing. Then is Microsoft Excel. It is used to insert numbers, pictures, graphs, formulas, perform calculation. You give it a formula. For example, uh, I want to make an Excel sheet of my student. Will give me the percentage of each student so that's how microsoft excel is what using maths to do the uh, number calculation in the background so it is used for formulas calculations calculating sales for business it can be used for many purposes that relates to the mathematics that is the sharepoint document management and storage application You used iCloud. What is iCloud? iCloud is a central place, or you can say it's a server sitting somewhere, and your data is being saved on that. And you can use any device to access that data. You can use your laptop. If you don't have your laptop, you can use any public computer. You can log in with your details and you can access that uh, cloud to.
So they all give you a kind of a SharePoint service a server where you can keep your data, you can sync your data there, and you can access it from anywhere using internet. So the next is uh, Microsoft uh, PowerPoint. Okay. Microsoft PowerPoint, as you know, it is used for creating the presentations. And we have already. Microsoft Outlook. So you can send receive emails on a business network, keeping an address book. So this, these are the applications of this software. Then is Microsoft Access. Microsoft Access. Uh, I give you an example. For example, I'm uh, uh, I want to keep a database of the students in my class or the students in the activity. Now there are many students. their marks in that, their percentage. So there are so many things uh, related to one student's data. And if there are hundreds and thousands of students, that will be a big data. So to uh, store data like that, and to interact with that data, to get the useful information out of that data, we need a software. That software is called, uh, for from Microsoft, posters, etc. What is brochure? Uh, for example, you give, go to any restaurant, they give you a menu. And on the menu, you go through the different pages and you see uh, what is the uh, best option for you. Okay, that is an example of a brochure. Or sometimes you, some marketing guys, they give you some uh, pamphlet or brochure in your hand to advertise about their newly opened restaurant. And they offer you, we can give you home delivery, and this is the menu, please take it. So these are examples of brochures. Posters also used for advertisement, or sometimes if your class teacher asks you, make a poster on the, the Milky Way, for example, and explain its, uh, some points on it. So you make a big poster, and you print it, okay, and that, and Laptops. If you want, you can open it right now. Microsoft Word, you know that Microsoft Word has a lot of features and uh, it can do a lot of things for you, a lot of options there. But Microsoft uh, WordPad, if you open WordPad, you will see it look similar to the Microsoft Word, but it has very limited features.
one is the microsoft access and oracle is another example spreadsheet software to do the math calculation accounting budget related sheets you used you, you can use microsoft excel and apple numbers okay apple also uh, giving you options of these application software but with different names multimedia softwares if you want to watch movies or videos on your laptop you must have some kind of media player on your laptop so by default the windows laptops they come with media player and the full name is windows media player if you open any uh, video saved on your computer it will be opened in windows media player but there are others also and then vlc yeah vlc also real player is also a media player vlc is also a very popular media player and it can run uh, many different format videos videos in different formats so it, it can run a vlc so vlc also very good media player browser browser is an application software used to access internet and internet explorer given by microsoft firefox is there you must have used it safari from apple chrome from google chrome google so these are the examples of different softwares so far we discussed application softwares all the software which we just discussed for browsing for word processing for numbers for presentation for making brochures okay for sending receiving emails all of these softwares were application softwares you apply them to get something out of it you interact with them you use them and you make something out of them now another type of software is utility software utility software are the softwares that work in the background of your machine they work in the background of your computer and you don't interact with them you do not use them to produce something okay so though these are the utility softwares so utility software is a system software designed to help analyze configure optimize or maintain a computer so they are mostly working in the background and they are working to keep your computer uh, safe from some uh, something like uh, viruses to sync your data somewhere okay to smooth the function of your computer to manage the processing speed of your computer so these are the job of utility softwares utility software the focus on computer infrastructure operations now you will understand better with the example what are the examples of utility software antivirus software the most common example you install antivirus software on your computer but do you ever interact with that do you use that software to make any word file or make any presentation or send or receive email no anti software is just a software and it it is working in the background of your computer. backup software okay it is working in the background and you don't know it because it is working in the background you are not interacting with it like you are interacting with uh, microsoft word powerpoint and all that data compression sometimes the data is too big and you use you use some utility software like winzip to compress the data and make a zip folder
okay you must have seen a uh, copyright notice on the books when you open the book there is a copyright notice from the publisher that you are not allowed to use the book contents its uh, text or images for your for any purpose or any marketing purpose or all, all that so that is copyright you are not allowed to use any other person's work and present it as your own work or sell it in the market or reproduce that work that is not allowed that is called copyright the same copyright applies to the software as well so any company that is making us let's say an antivirus software and that comes on a dvd in market you cannot make copies of that dvd and sell it in the market that is illegal so it is the legal right given to the original creator for a fixed length of time to print publish a book play film logo or musical material is called a copyright so copyright is the original creator uh, for example if say there is a singer that that singer records a song that is his own creation and that singer <clears throat> gives copyright to some uh, some company to to sell that song in the market upload that song on their official website or whatever and he is getting some money in return from that company so that is a legal copyright given to that company to publicize his song so that is one example of giving legal copyright but any other company if they download that song from youtube and then uh, sell it in the market with their own brand own company name that is illegal because they have not taken permission from the original creator <coughs> Computer virus. You must have uh, heard about computer virus. All of you know what is computer virus. <coughs> Excuse me. For this kind of data, they use it for their own uh, gains, for their own uh, purposes. So that is called computer virus. What actions can prevent from virus infection? You should install antivirus software. And some operating systems like Windows, they are giving antivirus inbuilt.
see this this file and this file can you see what is the difference between the two files yeah name is one difference but this file is without any arrow okay this file do not have arrow but this file has an arrow okay because this file is a shortcut i have created this shortcut myself so that i can open this instantly i can open this immediately otherwise i have to go through a long route i have to go here i have to go in advity uh, see i am just telling you that i have to go a long way to open this file so it will be time taking for me uh, eight DVD, okay, and somebody copies, make multiple copies of that DVD and sell it in the market. That will be pirated software. Making illegal copies of computer copyright software that is called software piracy. Who is hacker? This term also you must have heard so many times and you must have known about it. Hacker is a person who gains illegal access to computer system is known as hacker. Okay. So without your permission, without you, you allowing any person, if they access your system, secret details, bank details, your account or credit card details, because most of these persons, they want to steal your personal information or financial information. So those persons are called hackers. Security of documents. How many of you have a bank account? have bank account okay so uh, do you receive after one month they send you bank statement on email isn't it did you receive it the bank sends you a, a document called monthly statement in that document it gives you detail of your transactions how much money got into your account how much money got out of your account Okay, where did you make your spendings? Okay, it is giving you date on this date. You spent this much money to this merchant. Is it? Have you seen that document? That is a bank statement. Now that document is a uh, protected document. Bank will not give you that document on email without protection. Whenever you open that document, you need to put some password to open that. Okay, so. That is called security uh, of documents and 
such files are password protected if you all want to send some file to some of your friend and you want that only that friend should open that file nobody else if somehow that file is leaked so nobody else should be able to open that then you should protect that file with a password and use of e signatures also authenticate your documents that these documents are uh, authenticated what is password you must have known what is what is password password is something some uh, uh, number combination of uh, letters and numbers of special characters that you use to unlock your device or unlock some file like you unlock your mobile phone by using password you unlock your laptops by using a password okay images we all use images when whenever we are working uh, on our assignments we have to use images we take images from uh, our camera or sometimes we use images from internet the image has certain format okay and that format is mentioned some of the formats are mentioned here like dot jpeg dot png dot gif so these image formats are there for example if you save some image from internet let's uh, do one example here because on this slide it is also telling you about cropping what is cropping cropping means removing the unnecessary part of the image okay i will show you one example here okay let's search for image of a cat i will go to the images i will randomly select any cat let's say if i select this one okay and i use a snipping tool to capture this image for example like this okay now if i save this image save as on desktop and i rename it as cat cat image if i save it let's see how does it look like see the cat image it's here if i left click on my mouse and i click on properties i will see it will give me type of file as jpg dot jpg okay also if i open this folder uh, open this file uh, from this folder in the desktop and this is the cat image sitting here and you can see the file type here is written as jpg file okay so the file type you can see as dot jpg for this particular image now if i want to crop it how will i do that i will open that in okay see i have opened that in if image editor now from here i will edit it now i want to crop it i want to remove unnecessary borders from this image so what i will do i just clicked on the editing crop and rotate is selected already so i can just click hold and drag these borders to cut the unnecessary part of the image so see i can i'm doing it like that now i'm cropping from the left side now cropping from the bottom okay so that's how i have cropped my image now i have kept only the image of cat here and now i can save it here from here so that's how i cropped my image i removed the unnecessary things from all four sides this is called cropping of the image okay now only a few terms the last few terms www you must have heard or seen 
these three letters so many times what stands for www it is world wide web okay world wide the web addresses are addressed from these three letters www url what is url it is address of any web page for example image of the cat if i open this okay so what is this in the address bar this thing here is url that is the address of that website from where i have taken my image for that cat so whenever you are taking image or any text from the internet you have to mention the source from where to get the source the, this is source this is your url from where you took that image so when you click it you can simply copy it control c from the computer and you can mention in your file that this image of the cat source is this url Okay, let's wait for a few moments. Uh, connection is slow. Okay, here, if I am bringing my mouse on this, on this uh, sentence, my mouse image turns into a hand image, like like this, isn't it? It's showing like a hand. Hand symbol means you can click this. one more example here see this is some text given here if i hover my mouse around it is it is not changing its icon but when i i take my mouse on this blue color text which is underlined immediately my mouse changes to a hand symbol it means this is a hyperlink and when i click this it will take me to another website another web page okay so it is showing me this so that is all about uh, ICT introduction about the basic terms. So what we learned from today's topic, it was about difference uh, between hardware and software. 
Then we learn what is software, what are the two major categories of softwares, application softwares, utility softwares. In application softwares, we discuss Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Excel, Access, okay, so many different application softwares. And then we discuss utility softwares, utility softwares which work in the background of the computer, like antiviruses, like uh, backup softwares, okay, screen savers. So these are some kind of utility softwares. Then we discuss some basic ICT terms, like uh, what is copyright. What is virus? What who is hacker? What is uh, piracy? Okay. What is hyperlink? What is search engine? What, what are browsers? So these are the basic ICT terms that we discussed in today's lecture. So that was all about ICT introduction uh, topic. If you have any question, you are most welcome to ask. Any question on that? Most of the things. I know that you have already uh, used it your previous uh, academic history, so you you know most of the things. But still, if there are any questions, you are most welcome to ask. So I will stop this recording, and it will be available in your online class menu.